Light that spark fire nation. JLD here with an audio masterclass on how to nail it, then scale it. The seven steps to super success and 35% annual growth. To drop these value bonds, we are brought to Clay Clark on the mic. He is the founder of six multi million dollar businesses, author of 12 books, Forbes contributor, and former SBA entrepreneur of the year. In today's Fire Nation, we'll talk about what does it mean to nail it, then scale it. What is the first step to achieving super success? success, and so much more. Kalei, say what's up to Fire Nation, and also share something that you believe about becoming successful that most people disagree with. Hello, Fire Nation. Uh, my name is Clay Clark, and greetings from the frozen Tulsa, Oklahoma uh, tundra here. And uh, one thing that I believe that most people don't, I think, or what mo that most people disagree with is uh, I believe Proverbs 13, 20 is true from that controversial book called The Bible, where it says, He that walketh with the wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. Essentially, modern translation, you want to surround yourself mm. with people who are committed to being good people, to achieving success, and your life will improve. If you surround yourself with nefarious people who are trying to scam their way to success, you will lose. Fire Nation, you're listening to myself and Clay Clark. Your five is already getting pretty darn good with the two of us. I'm not going to lie, and there might even be a third person on the mic we'll be bringing in a little bit because we're talking about how to nail it, then scale it, specifically a seven-step formula to super success and 35% annual growth. I love the specificity of these numbers. So, Clay, let's just dive into the juicy stuff right here. Like, what the heck does it even mean to nail it, then scale it? Well, to nail it is you build a system that is so good, so um, consistent, the quality is consistent, the customers can rely on the quality uh, in a way that the customer is wowed. So let me throw out some examples. If you go to In-N-Out Burger, I know not everybody agrees, but if you go to In-N-Out Burger, most people would say, wow. And they go back. And in fact, there's a big line to prove it. And there's a line and, and, and there's not, I've been to In-N-Out Burgers where there has been a team of geniuses, a crack squad of geniuses working there. And I've been to some where there seems to be a lot of people there that were probably like <laughs> me in my youth, you know, maybe don't know a lot about a lot of things, but the consistency of the quality is phenomenal. And so if you build a system that is scalable, people that are super mature and wise and people that are new in kind of learning the game of business or learning the game of life, they can run it efficiently as well. So you want to build a business so good, so tight, all the systems in place that an idiot could run it because that someday in the future, an idiot may be running it or a genius can be running it, but you want predictable results that wow customers and that produce a predictable amount of profit so therefore, you can have time freedom and financial freedom, and you can move to Puerto Rico and share the massive <laughs> avocados with you uh, there, right there in Puerto Rico. We are talking basketball size avocados, Fire Nation. You need to see these to believe them, and they are amazing. And listen, Clay has made a living. He has made a fortune. He has made a lot of other people fortunes by teaching them and implementing himself how to nail it, then scale it. So please heed these wise words. And listen, we want super success, not just like success. Mm. We want super success. So what is that first step, Clay, to achieving super success? If you're listening right now and you own a business that solves a problem for real customers, that's where that's, that, that's step number one. You got to ask yourself, do I have a business where I'm selling a product to real customers that they actually want. And so I'll, I'll provide uh, three examples. Uh, and I call these the booming bearded boys from Oklahoma City. The bearded, these are the, the booming bearded boys from <laughs> Oklahoma City. These are three friends uh, who are now clients. The, the first bearded guy, he builds pergolas. He builds uh, outdoor kitchens. He does uh, cedar cabinets that you can order all over the nation. Everybody listening right now, all the Fire Nation, they can order his TV cabinets. His company is called PMHOKC. People are already searching for pergolas. They're already searching for outdoor kitchens. Many of your listeners right now, if you check it out, go to PMHOKC.com. He doesn't have to change your behaviors or your habits to get you to want to buy an outdoor fire uh, place or an outdoor kitchen or pergola. People already want it. So Randy Antrikin of PMHOKC is simply solving a problem that already exists. He's building a better mousetrap. Now, if you're going to try to invent a product that, that changes the way that we forever think about life, 
you might be Steve Jobs. But, that, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about you want to find a problem that people already have right now. I don't think a lot of people thought, I want something between a laptop and a phone, but bigger. Yeah, that's what I want. No, no, not that small. No, not that big. I want, I know what I want. I want an iPad. No, Steve Jobs came up with that and convinced us that we wanted it. But I'm talking about if you have a problem that you can solve for real people. Another example from the booming bearded boys would be there's a guy, he sells insurance. I can't mention his name, JLD, because I'm not as, with his business model, you're not supposed to have certain <laughs> outside it. consulting. But the point is, this man, whoever he is, he sells insurance. And when you sell insurance, uh, you know, you and I probably don't even want insurance. I mean, do, do, does anybody out there want a piece of paper and a promise? No, but we have to. To drive on the roads in Oklahoma or, or other states, you have to have car insurance. You have to have a home insurance. You probably should have life insurance. And so I don't know that I'm waking up every day saying, oh, my gosh, wow, I need insurance. This is exciting. No, but I have to have it. So my bearded, booming friend, um, he sells insurance. And we taught him how to do it in a scalable way that wows customers. And the third example would be flow photography. Every real estate agent out there, every real estate agent out there, if you're a real estate agent, you know what I'm talking about. You need photos, videos, uh, drone, 3D tours. You need all of that. And it's hard to find photographers that show up on time, that do a good job, and that provide editing that wows with a fast turnaround time. So one of my clients and one of my friends, um, Ryan, uh, started a company called flowphotos.com, flowphotos.com, and he wows real estate agents so much that he says, listen, listen, the first shoot, I'm going to do the first real estate shoot for you for a dollar. And a real estate agent says, what? I've been looking for a photographer that shows up on time that does a good job. You're going to do it for a dollar? He says, yes. They say, what's the catch? He says, well, the, the catch is I hope you use me again. But again, the first step is find a problem that the world has and, and, and solve it in a scalable way. That, that, that's the plan. Find problems that you can solve for your ideal and likely buyers. And if you don't have a problem you can solve, if you're thinking right now, I want to be an entrepreneur, but I just don't know what I would mm. do, I encourage you to look into buying a franchise or licensing a business. Fire Nation, so many value bombs coming your way. And by the way, uh, said photo flow gentleman may or may not be in the studio, so we'll see if Clay decides to weave him in throughout our conversation today. <laughs> but I want to talk real quick, Clay, about goals. Because listen, you believe that your goals, and you also believe that your values, and you also believe that the plan of your coach all align. Break this down for us. What do you mean by these three things? First off, you can't talk about goals without saying, go! <laughs> okay, sorry. That was great. I always think of Brazil, too. I don't know. They kind of own that, but go ahead. I don't watch a lot of soccer, but I do watch that highlight. It's amazing. But goals, <laughs> we're talking about goals. A goal is, um, it's it, it, uh, to quote Napoleon Hill, the best-selling author of Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill. He writes, and by the way, I named my son after Napoleon Hill, because I learned so much Brilliant. about goals. He says, a goal is a dream with a deadline. So when I was 16, it occurred to me I had no money. And I thought, I want to make a lot of money. Oh, yes. And so I thought, <laughs> what's a problem I can solve? And I thought, you know what? School dances are terrible. 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 People leave early. Weddings are terrible. People are, you know how it is. Girls on one side, boys on the other. Nobody's talking to each other. Nobody. And then what you do when you're an adult, you go to a wedding, you say, I think, I think the babysitter's calling me. And the babysitter's not calling you. <laughs> so you call the babysitter because you're, you're, you're an ethical person. You say, babysitter, I want you to call me over and over and over starting in 10 minutes and demand that I come home and, and tell me there's an emergency because oh, I have to leave this wedding. It's so terrible. But a great DJ can get people to stick around. Mm -hmm. People that vaguely know the couple We'll stick around till two in the morning if the DJ is good. And I thought to myself, I could DJ better than any disc jockey I've ever seen. How do I know this? Because I have thought about how bad they are, and I'm just going to make it a little bit better. And that became my first company, DJConnection.com. Little did I know that wedding by wedding, by delaying gratification, that I would build it into the largest wedding DJ entertainment company in the region and some have said in the nation. I didn't realize I would be doing 4,000 wedding receptions wow. a year. But when you build a system where every bride who's looking for you online finds you and every bride who goes to a venue is recommended to you and every bride says, wow, you, you, you guys are the best, 
And when we offer unlimited time and nobody else does, and we offer lights and sounds and customized weddings, I don't, I haven't owned that company in over a decade, but we were wowing customers. But my goal, JLD, as I said, I wanted to be worth a million dollars. I wanted to save. I'm not talking about my worth as a person, but my net worth. I needed it to be over a million by the age of 30 or my head was going to explode. <laughs> and so I found a way. I, I made a roughly, a roughly $175 per wedding. My wife tells me it's 167 because that's the accurate number of profit we made per wedding. I say 175 because I'm an entrepreneur. I'm an optimist. I'm rounding up. But we made $167 <laughs> per wedding. And when you do 4,000 weddings a year, somebody do the math, you take 4,000 times 167, and you say, okay, I got a profit of maybe 668,000 a year that I can procure from this business that I can make. So I want, I want to encourage everybody out there, listen, listen to me. How much does it cost for you to achieve your goals for your F6 life? F6, hmm. your goals for your faith, your family, your finances, your fitness, your friendship, and your fun. Okay, what does it cost for you to achieve your goals for your faith? your family, your finance, your fitness, your friendship, and your fun. What, is, what does it cost? And I'll just give you an example. One of my companies is called Elephant in the Room. It's a men's grooming lounge. It's like a country club for men's haircuts. And I pay myself $2 per haircut, being very transparent with your listeners. If you go to EITRlounge.com, chances are I can't make any money by cutting your hair because we're just in Oklahoma. But I make $2 per haircut, all right? And we do 4,000 haircuts a month. So that provides my family... A, a profit every year, okay? It's eight thousand a month, twelve months a year, ninety six thousand dollars, ninety six thousand dollars a year, right? Now after taxes, how much do I keep? And then whenever the account of the business goes over a hundred thousand dollars, whenever we get the, the bank account over one hundred thousand dollars, we do a profit distribution, right? So, but again, the goal is we have goal. We have five kids. I want my kids to be able to do gymnastics and dance classes and drum lessons. Yeah. And I want my wife to buy those expensive avocados from Whole Foods. Those are my goals. <laughs> but how am I going to achieve my goals? What I have to do is I have to sell haircuts. So how do I do it? I do a haircut that is better than most places in Tulsa. It's a 27-minute haircut, paraffin hand dip, hot towel treatment. It's manscaping. People love it. It feels like a country club. It's beautiful. So that's how we do it. Am I passionate about hair? No. Do I wear a hat every day? Yes. Do I only wear, not wear a hat when I do interviews? True. This is audio only, so I am wearing a hat right now. <laughs> yes. But uh, another example would be oxyfresh.com. It's a client. He's, a, he's been a client of mine for, I think, 13 years now. Oxyfresh.com. We have 450 plus locations open right now. Wow. And we make money by cleaning carpet. And it is the world's greenest carpet cleaner. And we do it so well that other people want to uh, license or franchise the business model. And now OxyFresh has 450 plus locations and people are achieving time freedom one carpet at a time. But you've got to find a problem that you can solve for the world and figure out how much does that cost. And then you, you, that's how you do it. You sit down and make your goals and you got to say, how many somethings do I need to sell to achieve my goals? No wonder why you keep saying yes to entrepreneurs on fire because you get to wear a hat. Clay, it is all mm. making sense now. <laughs> click, click, I'm not click. wearing pants. I'm wearing shorts. <laughs> I'm wearing and one shorts. I bought the and one shorts for $10. I went into Walmart. They had a deal where you could get four of them for like $40. I'm thinking, wow, that's three or $4 less than I normally pay. So I bought the and one shorts and I bought as many as they would sell me. And uh, so if you're out there, folks, I highly endorse they don't want me to endorse, but I endorse the And One shorts at Walmart. <laughs> They're about 10 to $15, and they are beautiful. Okay, beautiful. okay, TMI. So anyways, Fire Nation, we have so much valuable information coming up as soon as we get back from thanking our sponsors. With the COVID-19 pandemic still ongoing and with businesses needing to adapt, entrepreneurs are moving to online courses more than ever. With Thinkific, the best platform to create, market, and sell an online course, it's easy to pivot and create an impactful course for your business. With Thinkific, you get total control over the structure, price, and content of your online courses, and you don't have to be tech savvy to get started. And we speak from personal experience. We've been hosting our courses on Thinkific since 2017. Our students rave about how easy it is to follow our content. Thanks to Thinkific's 
readily available themes and templates. And in a world where spending hours online can get exhausting, we know that we are delivering an experience for our students that is both user-friendly and engaging, allowing them to succeed and reach their goals. Whether you're a guitar teacher or an executive business coach, Thinkific can help you expose your business to millions of people worldwide, join the thousands of entrepreneurs creating and selling their own online courses, and start monetizing your skills today at thinkific.com slash EOF. That's T-H-I-N-K-I-F-I-C dot com slash E-O-F. Fire Nation, in 2012, I knew I needed to surround myself with more inspiring and successful entrepreneurs. This realization led me to launch Entrepreneurs on Fire, the first daily podcast interviewing the best entrepreneurs in the world. Today, Entrepreneurs on Fire has over 3,000 episodes published, over 100 million total listens, averages 1.4 million monthly listens, and has generated over $100,000 a month in net profits 91 months in a row. For what it's worth, the strategy of surrounding yourself with the right people works. During the thousands of hours I spent interviewing these amazing entrepreneurs, I identified the 17 core foundational principles they all share, and I put them in chronological order and created a revolutionary 17-step roadmap. I then sat down and spent 480 hours turning this roadmap into 71,000 words, which is a 273-page book called The Common Path to Uncommon Success. I also brought in 17 amazing entrepreneurs to share their genius at every step in the roadmap, from Amy Porterfield to Pat Flynn, Jeff Walker, Russell Brunson, Billy Jean, Stu McLaren, Selena Sue, Hal Elrod, Ramit Sethi, Jill Stanton. I mean, the list goes on. The Common Path to Uncommon Success is the culmination of the 3,000 interviews I've done over the past decade, and this 17-step roadmap will deliver financial freedom and fulfillment to your life. Visit UncommonSuccessBook.com to learn more about this book and start your journey to uncommon success today. So Clay, we're back, and let's be frank, you've already dropped an enormous amount of value bombs thus far. And I want to talk about trust now because trust is a tricky word these days. You believe it's important to trust, but verify, expound upon this. Well, what happens is, is a lot of people hop on um, shows. You're, 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 you are unique because you vet your guests, but there are a lot of shows out there where they'll just let anybody on the show. Or there's a lot of people that let anybody speak at the conference. There's a lot of trade shows to let anybody sell something as long as they pay for the booth, right? So a lot of people are paying for their platform. People are paying for fake numbers of Twitter followers or Instagram followers. We've all seen that game. And so what you want to do is you, when you're looking at taking advice from somebody, but whether it be a business consultant or a conference or a, a franchise you're looking to buy or something you're looking to license, I encourage you to trust but verify. So you first ask yourself, is there fruit and then go back to the root ask yourself is there fruit and then go back to the root because so often people say things people are leasing the mercedes and they can't afford gas they're saying please please hopefully they don't see me pushing the pushing my mercedes into the parking lot you know what i mean people are pushing their mercedes into the parking lot they can't afford gas but they're leasing it people are uh faking it till you make it and all I would say is before you take the advice of anybody out there, make sure you look at the fruit of the li- uh, in the lives of these people and then chase it back to the root. And that's super important. And is everybody going to be loved? No, no. And then it, it, it's nobody's not people, people don't receive universal praise, but success leaves clues. And so Winston Churchill, um, this is Winston Churchill, the famous prime minister who led uh, Britain over uh, uh, in a courageous battle versus the Nazis. Oh, yeah. He fought against Hitler. He, was, he said, you have enemies? Question mark. Good. That means you've stood up for something sometime in your life. So do your research. I, I recommend if you're going to build a house, call their testimonials. Talk to them. If you're going to buy a franchise, call the franchisees. Ask them, how's it going? If you're going to hire a consultant, um, do your research. And that's why at uh, thrivetimeshow.com, uh, if you go to thrivetimeshow.com, the home of our podcast and website, thrivetimeshow.com, you click on the testimonials button. We have now over a thousand video testimonials that I have compiled since 2006. So, I mean, you can see fashion patterns change, JLD. I mean, you can see people back in the day, 2006. Or people this year sharing about their success. We proudly give out their cell phone numbers so you can call them, verify. Just any, If you're going to buy a franchise, call the franchisees. If you're going to use a realtor, call the references. It's so important to trust but verify.
one of the many things, and I mean many things, that I love about you, Clay, it's your bluntness. So let's just call a spade a spade, brother, right now. Where do most people, and I'm talking about Fire Nation, I'm talking about Thrive Nation, I'm just talking about human beings and entrepreneurs in general, where do most people go wrong with their attempts at business growth? Well, we're looking to get rich quick. I mean, that's that's what happens. We, we all, we're all kind of doing it, right? I mean, there's a line to get into the buffet <laughs> at the casino, and you're thinking, maybe I could just kind of sneak in there. You know, you're going to a game, you didn't pay for a ticket to sit they're on the sidelines and you kind of want to sneak in. People are kind of wanting to, you know, get the study guide. There's just this primal desire we have to get rich quick, to take the shortcut. And so what I see, and it's unfortunate, but uh, uh, it, many people before they call me have already gone to um, seminars where they say, JLD, here's the deal. There's 13 secrets to getting rich. And I'm going to teach you 12.7 of them today. <laughs> now, now, it's the final point three. That is where you get rich. But the 12.7, th th this is, this is going to just get your beak wet. But if you want to know the magic money, then you have to come to the next one. And so a, a trusting person says, okay, I'll come to the next one. And then they say, we're going to teach you 10 steps. However, today we only have time to cover one step because, you know, here comes a celebrity invasion. So next conference, we'll teach you the nine. And they keep doing this, and pretty soon you're going – I have dropped – I've seen people who've come to me and said, Clay, I've spent $80,000 on consulting. 80. Actually, one guy I just talked to spent $86,000, JLD, $86,000 on – it was an eight grand a month program. And I remember that. I was thinking, eight grand a month, that's what I pay myself from Elephant in the Room. Mm. How are you even – like, what? And this is a guy who desperately wanted success. He got roped into one of these search engine programs where you sign a, a long-term contract. And now he had to finance it and do a home equity line to pay Ugh. it off. And I see these sad stories all the time. And all I would just say, I recommend you look for um, a consulting mentorship that is uh, uh, you know, month to month that you try before you buy. You can trust but verify. But I would just really avoid the get-rich-quick stuff. And I would just give, give you a notable quotable. Andy Grove, who's the co-founder of Intel, who uh, escaped – from communist-controlled Hungary uh, at the age of 20 to move to the United States. He wrote a book, and he titled it, Only the Paranoid Survived. Ooh. Only the Paranoid Survive. And so I would just say, I started off the show by talking about PMHOKC. This is a guy who grew from doing you know 50 grand a month of sales to $200,000 a week. $200,000 a week <laughs> from 50,000 a month to 200,000 a week. That's a real example. I'm giving you the website, pmhokc.com. Just everybody out there, do a search right now. Type in OKC Pergola. Type it in. OKC Pergola, P-E-R-G-O-L-A. You can see who comes up top. Another example. Type in Joplin Gyms, J-O-P-L-I-N, Joplin Gyms. Who comes up top? One of my clients, Kola Fitness. Five. These guys have grown five times the size in less than three years. These are real examples. You can verify. I'm giving you the names of these people. But beware of the consultant, educator, speaker guy who speaks in vagaries and says, well, JLD, I have so many testimonials. It's mm. hard for me to remember even one because if I were to think of even one, I would black out. And I have NDAs, and I, I don't want to black out, and I don't want to violate my NDAs, and I also don't want to validate the confidentiality. So I have no references that you can verify, but trust me because I'm leasing a Mercedes. Trust me, Fire Nation. I'm leasing a Hyundai. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, though? You've seen it. Big hat, no cattle. You've seen it, JLD. You've seen it. And you you do such a great job of vetting people. You know what I'm talking about. There are people out there that are scamtastic. They're scamtastic. And listen, this is why from day one, I was so inspired by Pat Flynn publishing his income reports and wanting to do the exact same thing and wanting to even kind of like up that level of being like, hey, how can I bring in my lawyer to not only share a legal tip and bring in my account and not only share a, a tax tip, but also just to like prove and to verify that like these are real numbers. This is what we are doing. This is what's working in the market right now. Here yep. it is. These aren't just like numbers being thrown out in the air that a lot of people can do from stage or from wherever, from online. But Fire Nation, you've got to verify. And Clay, people are so scared when it comes to building a team, mostly because they don't know how to do it. But you and I both know that you must surround yourself with a competent team if you want to fulfill the dream. How do we do this? Okay, well, if you're listening right now, you want to know specifically how I find great people. 
Uh, today, we're, we're recording this show on, on a Wednesday. I never know when the show's come out. But tonight at 5.30 p.m., 5.30 p.m., um, I'm going to be interviewing um, on a typical week about 50 to 75 candidates who say that they, that, who say that they want a job on the planet Earth. And so I am doing the hiring. I'm in charge of the hiring as a consultant for ShawHomes.com. It's Oklahoma's largest home builder. For myself, uh, my marketing company is one of the largest in Oklahoma called MakeYourLifeEpic.com. For Elephant in the Room, our haircut business. And I don't want to bore your listeners, but I'm doing interviewing for real companies. I'm just citing them so people know I'm not making this up. And if you go on Indeed, you can see the the, the job posts right now. And we're going to spend collectively about $2,000 a week, JLD, posting job, now hiring, now hiring. You know, we're, we're hiring. And these people show up and they apply for the job. And I'm going to interview these people. And I'm going to interview them all at one time. I call this the group interview. And somebody out there, this is a powerful move. Everybody look this up. Don't believe me. Inc. Magazine now reports, JLD, that 85% of people lie on their resume. 85%, according to Inc. Magazine. Just making stuff up. People are turning in fiction novels as their, as their resume. So what I do is anybody who applies, I'll give you a fair shot. But I want to meet you. I'm not going to hire you based upon that resume. And then I'm there, and they're going, aren't you the owner of these companies? Aren't you the owner? I thought you were. I thought I read about you in Forbes. Oh, I saw you on Jimmy Kimmel. Oh, I looked you up. Oh, you know, and they go, I, I you're the owner. Yes. And they say, and I said, well, they get kind of nervous a little bit. And I say, now guys, you can ask me any questions that you want about this job. And I'm going to tell you anything you want to know about pay compensation, how to get fired, how to get hired, how to get promoted, the org chart. You can come walk around my office. You can explore the 17,000 know, square foot building. You can meet everybody. And you get to learn a lot about people. And then what you do is if somebody says they're a good fit, you think they're a good fit, I like to go ahead and schedule them to shadow me in the workplace for an hour or two while, while we verify their references. And through that process, you're going to find that if we have 150 people apply and they say they're going to be at the interview, it's sad, but only 50, maybe only a third, about a third of the people who say they're going to show up for the interview actually show up. Wow. So then I only read the resumes of that third, right? I mean, why would I read someone's resume if they're not going to show up? Right. Furthermore, I'm not going to call your references unless you show up on time. And I'll tell you this, a little less than 10% show up on time. So a third show up, but a little less than 10% total show up on time. And if you're going to be late for the interview, you're probably going to be late for the job too. And if you need a, a self-help course, I'm going to recommend your newest book, JLD, but I'm not going to hire you. You know, I'm going to recommend some books to you because I remember when I was a bad employee and I started working at Target, I didn't know what was going on. I would not hire a young me. Mm. I wouldn't do it because I had so much stuff I was dealing with. But once you do the group interview every week, every week we job post. Every week at 5.30 we do that group interview. I schedule shadows, and if you're a good fit, I have you shadow. And then we make the decision right there. And it's just it's kind of an opportunity for both parties to try it before they buy it. And I see so many business owners that are stuck doing 150 consecutive one-on-one -on -one interviews. And half the people don't even show up. Think about that, 150 one-hour interviews versus the same time, same place every week. I love the group interview. If you want to know more about it, you can go to thrivetimeshow.com, and you can click on the podcast button, and you can learn about the uh, group interview. And I actually have an audio excerpt of me uh, conducting a group interview that the listeners can hear. <laughs> Fire Nation value bombs have been dropped. You can see why I keep bringing Clay on Entrepreneurs on Fire time after time, year after year. And not to mention, they are a fantastic partner and sponsor of Entrepreneurs on Fire as well. So Clay, I want you to take this home for us, brother. What do you want to make sure Fire Nation gets from everything that we talked about today? Yep. What opportunities do our listeners, does Fire Nation get to continue to take advantage of all the awesomeness? And in fact, pre-interview, we talked about some amazing Fire Nation testimonial stories that's already happened, which is so cool to hear. And then we'll say goodbye. Well, I want to give the listeners kind of a... a a three-step um, process, Th three things you can do right now. Um, step number one is I would encourage you to, uh, I encourage you to go to a, a thrivetimeshow.com forward slash EO fire, thrivetimeshow.com forward slash EO fire. And when you go there, you can schedule a, a, a 13 point assessment uh, with me, not with a, a team mate, mate or somebody else. You'll actually be on the phone with me. And when you're on the phone with me, um, I'm going to figure out whether we can help you or not. Now, I can only help 160 clients one-on-one -on -one because that's the limit I've set on how big I want our firm to be. But we also have workshops. 
And so if you go to thrivetimeshow.com forward slash EO fire, you can schedule the 13 point assessment. However, if you go to thrivetimeshow.com and you click on the conferences button, you can learn all about those conferences. They're two day interactive workshops. And uh, if you want to attend just for $37, all you got to do is leave a review about the, the EO fire podcast on iTunes. So find the EO fire podcast on iTunes and uh, leave an objective review about JLD here. Give him a review. Tell him how he's doing. You know, oh, man, I wish you would <laughs> talk faster, talk slower. You know, no, but seriously, tell him about the value you're getting, what you're learning, um, that kind of thing. And if you'll send a screenshot of the review of the EO Fire podcast to info at thrivetimeshow.com. That's info at thrivetimeshow.com. You can attend the conference for just $37. Whoa. Or again, you can schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me at thrivetimeshow.com forward slash EO fire. And then the third thing, and, and before we introduce kind of our, our uh, uh, co-conspirator here in the studio, <laughs> here, um, Ryan is actually a guy who is one of the bearded uh, uh, business boys, the, business, the booming business the boys out there in Oklahoma City. He goes to church with the guy who started PMH OKC and with the insurance guy. And Ryan was crazy enough to fill out the form uh, per the recommendations of his friends, he got stuck on a 13-point assessment with me, and now his company, flowphotos.com, has grown as a result of him diligently implementing the system, and it's grown so much in these past couple of years that he's now licensing the business. So now if you're out there today and you're going, man, I, I don't know what I want to do with my career. I need to find a business. I want to start a business. I don't know how. You can now start a flow photography. You can license a flow photography location for less than $20,000, and uh, he'll actually train you how to do it. It's less than $20,000, and, and all, all $20,000 goes to buy the equipment. He doesn't even make a commission on selling it. It's just all equipment, so you're just buying the equipment. You're not paying a, an upfront license fee. It's a pretty cool story, and I wanted uh, Ryan to, to, to meet your listeners today. How's everybody doing? Ryan, we're all doing great. Yay! Woo so, uh, Ryan, can you share with everybody, when you filled out the, the form, what were you thinking? Well, I'd, uh, you know, Clay had mentioned that we've got a couple of friends that we go to church with, and uh, I'd been hearing these stories of like their business was growing, kind of seemed like out of nowhere. Um, the uh, PMH guy, he he would send me pictures of checks that <laughs> customers were, were writing to him, and and those were big checks. He and did so, that? He sent you pictures of checks? He sure did. Oh, that's <laughs> hilarious. And so we were at an ugly sweater party, and they they kind of cornered me and said, Ryan, you've, you've got to check this out. And so uh, I did. I checked it out. I did the 13 point assessment. What was really cool is uh, Clay mapped out a, a a business plan for me, just no questions asked at all. But at, whenever I read through the business plan, I saw, you know, here's a roadmap to success. I've heard the success that Clay's had, you know, built the nation's largest DJ entertainment company. I, I thought, come on, this guy's done this before. I found out, you know, he's built several multi million dollar businesses. I need to listen to what this guy's saying. You know, you hear something, you trust it, but sometimes they're like, you know, don't believe your lying eyes, right? right? And so I actually got to see on paper and uh, all of the verification. And so, you know, uh, we we said, yes, this is something we need to do. Uh, and then we just sort of began from there. And, um, you know, thinking back on it, what I was thinking was I needed help. Uh, you know, I'm a photographer by trade, right? I'm an artist. Uh, you know, I, I, I figured out how to take great photos, how to deliver those photos, good customer service, things like that. But, you know, we named our business flow because the opposite of that is to drift, right? We wanted things to flow. Well, we didn't have great structure, all of these things. And uh, Clay and his team helped to bring some structure to us. And, and really, it was just following a proven path, simple systems. And we leaned into that. And so I, I got really excited whenever we were able to get started. And you guys have grown by what percentage in the last two years now? Yeah, 35%. 35%. And you, you have uh, – and so in a typical week, I mean, you can – if, if somebody um, did reach out to learn about licensing a flow photography, you're doing that. And if I understand it right, the licensing fee is a dollar. Yep, one dollar. And uh, they got to buy about, what, $15,000 of equipment? Yep, yep. It would be about $15,000 to uh, get your, your cameras, your 3D cameras, video stuff. Now, JLD's a smart guy, but for a guy like me, how long does it take you to teach me how to do it? Uh, two days. So two days. So for fifteen grand, what, under, under, under fifteen grand, two days. If you don't know what you want to do with your career – you can have a business and, and, and a gross revenue on a typical week. If you're in the spring, how much gross revenue can you generate? Yeah, anywhere from fifteen to 17000 was uh, what we were hitting this last year. Yeah. It's crazy. A week. And a couple days of training. Well, Fire Nation, listen, you're hearing Clay. 
I mean, you're hearing this story of photo flow, you're hearing all these different things, and it's important to trust, but as Clay said, verify. So the next step, of course, is verifying because you are in charge of your future, of the next step that you take. So I love this, Clay. How do you want to bring this home? I would just say, um, I want to go back to where we started. Um, you know, you asked me what's one thing I believe that very few people believe, um, or that people, what most people disagree with, is he that walketh with the wise shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. So I'll leave your listeners with uh, four quick action steps. Um, one, if you're surrounded by idiots, and man, when I worked at Target and Applebee's and DirecTV, I was surrounded by idiots because I was surrounded by myself. Think about that. I was surrounded by myself. Everywhere I went, I was there. So I would say step one, listen to the EO Fire podcast every day until you are one of those wise guys because there's so much knowledge. And JLD, it's not just your new shows. It's your older shows. It's the shows you've done years ago. Just go through, just listen every single day. Call to action number two. Leave a review. I mean, JLD, you have millions of people that have listened to your shows yeah. and yeah. thousands of reviews. Let's help bridge the, the, the gap. You know, let's get a million reviews. Everybody out there, you say, I don't know what to do. I'm, st- what, I'm trying to grow a business in a pandemic. What do I do? I've got, no. what you do is you need to go and leave a review right now. Go to iTunes, find the EO Fire podcast, leave an objective review. Email me quick while it's still in your mind. Do it now. Email me to info at thrivetimeshow.com. Should I do it later? No, pull over and do it right now. Do it right now. Do it right now. Do it right now. Leave, send a screenshot to info at thrivetimeshow.com. But I can't do it. I have carpal tunnel. I'm overwhelmed. Just do it. Screenshot, review, info at thrivetimeshow.com. If you can't figure out how to leave a review, just email me and I'll help you. You can attend a conference for $37 with no upsells. That's the thing that shocks everybody. No upsells. It's beautiful. Action step number three, schedule a free 13-point assessment with me if you have a real business and you're really stuck. Because even if we can't help you as an ongoing co- coaching client, God put me on earth to help you grow businesses. That's what I do. I'm not good at a lot of things. I have five kids and I have no hobbies and interests and I swim in the pool with my kids in the hot tub. But they're like, you know, dad, you're one of the most unimpressive people we've ever met, but you're good at growing <laughs> a business. Um, I- I'm not I'm not a talent show. I'm not a guy you want to go hiking with. I don't go camping. I'm not good at, you know, male modeling. I'm not good at playing a musical instrument, but I can grow businesses. So just go to thrivetimeshow.com forward slash EO fire and schedule that 13 point assessment at thrivetimeshow.com forward slash EO fire and action step number four, batting cleanup. If you don't have a business and you're saying, I don't know what to do. I just don't know what to do. I, I, I don't know what to do. I encourage you, look at either licensing or franchising. Jimmy John's is a great business. I make no commission for you to buy a Jimmy John's, okay? Oxyfresh.com, a great business. Franchising just allows you to buy a scalable system that works, or you can look into licensing. And you just got to go to flowphotos, plural.com, flowphotos, plural.com, and click on license a location. There's a button. Click on license a location. And then Ryan can talk to you. It costs you nothing. You got about 15 grand of gear you got to buy if you want to move forward. And he'll schedule a two day dojo of mojo training with you uh, to teach you how to do it and see if it's a good fit. That's flowphotos.com. JLD, you sound like you're smelling terrific. Is that something in the <laughs> Puerto Rican weather up there? All day, every day. I've got my native deodorant, coconut butter, mm. um, just right underneath both my armpits. And it smells fantastic because Fire oh. Nation. TMI, once again, for twice in one episode. You're the average of the five people you spend the most time with. You know this, Fire Nation. You're hanging out with Clay, with JLD today. So let's keep up that heat. And if you do head over to eofire.com and type Clay in the search bar, all of his amazing episodes come out. They're all this valuable. This many value bombs are in every single one of them. But again, your calls to action. Clay gave all four right there. I'm just going to repeat thrivetimeshow.com slash eofire. Get going, take action on that. And again, the email address to take that screenshot of the review and get that $37 ticket to the conference. Info at thrivetimeshow.com. Clay, thank you for sharing your truth, your knowledge, your value with Fire Nation today. For that, we salute you and we'll catch you on the flip side. Boom. Hey, Fire Nation. Today's Value Bomb content was brought to you by Clay. And listen, over the past decade, I've interviewed more than 3,000 of the world's most successful entrepreneurs and created a revolutionary 17-step roadmap to your financial freedom and fulfillment. I put it all into my first traditionally published book, The Common Path to Uncommon Success, personally endorsed by Seth Godin and Gary Vaynerchuk. The Common Path to Uncommon Success is the step-by-step guidance you need to achieve the lifestyle of your dreams, Fire Nation. 
information, visit UncommonSuccessBook.com to learn more and order your copy today. And I'll catch you there or I'll catch you on the flippity flip side. Hey, Clay Clark and my Thrive peeps. Uh, it's Steve Currington, as you can tell. Although I'm not wearing my signature green shirt as usual, but I am riding in my signature green Lamborghini. And I just wanted to say how appreciative I am of Thrive and all the guys at um, Thrive Time and the show and everything that you guys have done. Um, at Total Ending Concepts, we have had tremendous growth and a lot of things changing, especially on the marketing front. And from a coaching perspective and from a uh, web presence and branding and um, our, you know, our internet leads are up, everything is hammering on all cylinders and really we're just trying to figure out how we can leverage the systems and the processes that we're learning at Thrive more in our business. So now we're setting up a lead tracking system that has been long overdue and we're doing lots of stuff. But I wanted to take a minute and say thank you, thank you, thank you to Thrive and Clay Clark and Dr. Z and everybody for all the help in helping us grow our business and um, hopefully buy more Lamborghinis like this uh, the more we sell. So appreciate it guys, see ya. Hi, I'm Aaron Antis with Shaw Homes. I first heard about Clay through a mortgage lender here in town who had told me what a great job he had been doing for them. And I actually noticed he was driving a Lamborghini all of a sudden, so I was willing to listen. Uh, in my career, I've sold a little over $800 million in real estate. So honestly, I thought I kind of knew everything about marketing and um, homes. And then I met Clay and my perception of what I knew and what I could do definitely changed. After doing 800 million in sales over a 15 year career, I really thought I knew what I was doing. I've been managing a large team of salespeople for the last 10 years here with Shaw Homes. And I mean, we've been a company that's been in business for 35 years. We've become one of the largest builders in the Tulsa area and uh, that was without Clay. So when I came to know Clay, I really thought, man, there's not much more I need to know, but I'm willing to listen. The interesting thing is our internet leads from our website has actually in a four month period of time has gone from somewhere around 10 to 15 leads in a month to 180 internet leads in a month. Just from the few things that he's shown us how to implement that I honestly probably never would have come up with on my own. So uh, I got a lot of good things to say about the system that Clay put in place with us. And it's just been an incredible experience. I am very glad that we met and had the opportunity to work with Clay. So the interaction with the team and with Clay on a weekly basis is honestly very enlightening. One of the things that I love about Clay's perspective on things is that he doesn't come from my industry. He's not somebody who's in the home building industry. I've listened to all the experts in my field. Our company has paid for me to go to seminars, international builder shows, all kinds of places where I've had the opportunity to learn from the experts in my industry. But the thing that I found working with Clay is that he comes from such a broad spectrum of working with so many different types of businesses that he has a perspective that's difficult for me to gain because I get so entrenched in what I do, I'm not paying attention to what other leading industry experts are doing. And Clay really brings that perspective for me. It is very valuable time every week when I get that hour with him. From my perspective, the reason that any business owner who's thinking about hooking up with Thrive needs to definitely consider it is because the results that we've gotten in a very short period of time are honestly monumental. It has really exceeded my wildest expectation of what he might be able to do. I came in skeptical because I'm very pragmatic and as I've gone through the process over just a few months, I've realized it's probably one of the best moves we've ever made. I think a lot of people probably feel like they don't need a business or marketing consultant because they maybe are a little bit prideful and like to think they know everything. 
I know that's how I felt coming in. I mean, we're a big company that's definitely one of the largest in town. And so we kind of felt like we knew what we were doing. And I think for a lot of people, they let their ego get in the way of listening to somebody that might have a better or different perspective than theirs. I would just really encourage you if you're thinking about working with Clay, I mean, the thing is, it's month to month. Go give it a try and see what happens. I think in the 35 year history of Shaw Homes, this is probably the best thing that's happened to us. And I know if you give them a shot, I think you'll feel the same way. I know for me, the thing I would have missed out on if I didn't work with Clay is I would have missed out on literally an 1800% increase in our internet leads. Going from 10 a month to 180 a month, that would have been a huge financial decision to just decide not to give it a shot. I would absolutely recommend Clay Clark to anybody who's thinking about working with somebody in marketing. I would skip over anybody else you were thinking about and I would go straight to Clay and his team. I guarantee you're not going to regret it because we sure haven't. My name is Danielle Sprick and I am the founder of D. Sprick Realty Group here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. After being a stay-at-home mom for 12 years and my three kids started school and they were in school full-time, I was at a crossroads and trying to decide what what do I want to do? My degree and my background is in education, but after being a mom and staying home and all of that, I just didn't have a passion for it like I once did. My husband suggested real estate. He's a home builder, so real estate and home building go hand in hand, and we just rolled with it. I love people. I love working with people. I love the building relationships. But one thing that was really difficult for me was the business side of things. The processes and the advertising and marketing. I knew that I did not have what I needed to make that what it should be. So I reached out to Clay at that time. And he and his team have been extremely instrumental in helping us build our brand, um, help market our business, our agents, the homes that we represent. Everything that we do uh, is a direct line from Clay and his team and all that they've done for us. We launched our brokerage, our real estate brokerage, eight months ago. And in that time, we've gone from myself and one other agent to just this week, we signed on our 16th agent. Um, we have been blessed with the fact that we right now have just over 10 million in pending transactions. Three years ago, I never would have even imagined that I would be in this role that I'm in today, building a business, having 16 agents, but I have to give credit where credit's due, and Clay and his team and the business coaching that they've offered us has been huge. It's been instrumental in what we're doing. Don't ever limit your vision. When you dream big, big things happen. I started a business because I couldn't work for anyone else. I do things my way. Um, I do what I think is in the best interest of the patient. I don't answer to insurance companies. I don't answer to large corporate organizations. I answer to my patient and that's it. My thought when I opened my clinic was I can do this all myself. Uh, I don't need uh, additional outside help in many ways. I, I mean, I, I went to medical school. I can figure this out. But it was a very, very steep learning curve. Within the first six months of opening my clinic, I had a $63,000 embezzlement. Um, I lost multiple employees. Clay helped us weather the storm of some of the things that are just a lot of people experience, especially in the medical world. He was instrumental in helping with the specific written business plan. He's been instrumental in hiring good quality employees, using the processes that he outlines for getting in good talent, which is extremely difficult. He helped me in securing the business loans. He helped me with uh, web development and search engine optimization. We've been able to really keep a steady stream of clients coming in uh, because they found us on the web. With everything that I encountered, everything that I experienced, I, I quickly learned it is worth every penny to have someone in your team 
that can walk you through and even avoid some of the pitfalls that are almost invariable in starting your own business. I'm Dr. Chad Edwards, and I own Revolution Health and Wellness Clinic. The Thrive Time Show two-day interactive business workshops are the highest and most reviewed business workshops on the planet. You can learn the proven uh, 13-point business systems that Dr. Zellner and I have used over and over to start and grow successful companies. I mean, we get into the specifics, the specific steps on what you need to do to optimize your website. We're going to teach you how to fix your conversion rate. Uh, we're going to teach you how to do a social media marketing campaign that works. How do you... The number of new customers that we've had is up 411% over last year. We are Jared and Jennifer Johnson. We own Platinum Pest and Lawn and are located in Owasso, Oklahoma. And we have been working with Thrive for business coaching for almost a year now. Yeah. So, so what we want to do is we want to share some wins with you guys uh, that, that we've had by working with Thrive. Um, first of all, um, we're on the top page of Google now. Okay. Um, I just want to let you know what type of accomplishment this is. Our competition, Orkin, Terminex, they're both $1.3 billion companies. They both have two to 3,000 pages of content um, attached to their website. So to basically go from uh, virtually non-existent on Google to up on the top page is, is really saying something. Um, but that's come by being uh, diligent to the systems that, that Thrive has, um, by, be, by uh, being consistent and diligent on, on doing podcasts um, and staying on top of those podcasts um, to really help uh, with, with getting up on uh, uh, with their listing and ranking there with Google. And also, we've been um, trying to get Google reviews, you know, asking our customers for reviews. And now we're the highest rated and most reviewed pest and lawn company in the Tulsa area. And that's really helped with our conversion rate. And the number of new customers that we've had is up 411% over last year. Wait, say, say that again. How much are we up? 411%. Okay. So 411% um, we're up with, with our new customers. Amazing. Right. right. So not only do we have more customers calling in, we're able to close those deals at a much higher rate than we were before. Right now, our closing rate is about 85%, and that's largely uh, due to, uh, first of all, like our Google reviews that we've gotten people really see that our customers are happy, but also we have a script that we follow. And so when customers call in, they get all the information that they need. Uh, that script has been refined time and time again. Uh, it wasn't a one and done deal. We it was a system that we that we followed with Thrive in in the refining process, and that has obviously um, the 411 percent shows that 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 system works. Yeah. So here's a big one for you. So last week alone, our booking percentage was 91 percent. We actually booked more deals, more new customers last year than we did the first five months. Or I'm sorry, the first we we booked more deals last week than we did the first five months of last year from before we we, we worked with Thrive. So again, we booked more deals last week than the first five months of last year. And it's incredible. But, but the reason why we have that success is by implementing uh, the systems that, that Thrive has taught us and, and, and helped us out with. So. Some of those systems that we've implemented are group interviews. That way we've really been able to uh, come up with a really great team. Um, we've created and implemented checklists. That way everything um, gets done and it gets done right. Uh, we, it creates accountability. Uh, we're able to make sure that everything uh, gets done properly, both out in the field and also in our office. Um, and also doing the podcast, like Jared had mentioned, that has really, really contributed to our success. But that, like you said, the diligence and um, consistency and doing those in that system has really, um, really been a, a big blessing in our lives. And also, um, you know, it's really shown that we've gotten the success from following those systems. Yeah. So before working with Thrive, uh, we were basically stuck. Um, really no new growth um, w with our with our business um, and we we're, were in a rut and we the, didn't know oh, sorry. the last three years our customer base had pretty much stayed the same we weren't shrinking but we weren't really growing either yeah and so we didn't we didn't really know where to go what to do uh, how to get out of this rut that we're in um, but thrive helped us with that you know they, they implemented those systems that they taught us those systems they taught us the knowledge that we needed um, in order to succeed now it's been a grind absolutely it's been a grind this last year. Um, but we're but we're getting those fruits uh, from from that hard work and, and the diligent effort that, that we're able to put into them. Um, so again, we were in a rut. Thrive helped us get out of that rut. Um, and uh, and if you're thinking about um, working with, with, with Thrive, quit thinking about it and just do it. Um, do the action, um, and you'll get the results. It, it will take hard work and discipline, um, but but uh, but that's what it's going to take in order to in order to, to really succeed. So uh, we just want to give a big shout out to Thrive, a big thank you out there to, to Thrive. We wouldn't be where we at, where we're at now um, without their help.
Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Moore. I'm a pediatric dentist. Through our new digital marketing plan, we have seen a market increase in the number of new patients that we're seeing every month, year over year. One month, for example, we went from 110 new patients the previous year to over 180 new patients um, in the same month. And overall, our average is running about 40 to 42 percent increase month over month, year over year. The group of people required to implement our new digital marketing plan is immense, starting with a business coach, videographers, photographers, web designers. Back when I graduated dental school in 1985, nobody advertised. The only marketing that was ethically allowed in everybody's eyes was mouth-to-mouth -mouth marketing. By choosing to use the services, you're choosing to use a proof and turnkey marketing and coaching system that will grow your practice and get you the results that you're looking for. I went to the University of Oklahoma College of Dentistry, graduated in 1983, and then I did my pediatric dental residency at Baylor College of Dentistry from 1983 to 1985. Hello, my name is Charles Kolaw with Kolaw Fitness. Uh, today I want to tell you a little bit about Clay Clark and how I know Clay Clark. Clay Clark has been my business coach since 2017. He's helped us grow from two locations to now six locations. We're planning to do seven locations in seven years and then franchise. And Clay has done a great job of helping us navigate anything that has to do with like running the business, building the systems, the checklists, the workflows, the audits, um, how to, how to um, navigate lease agreements, how to uh, buy property, um, how to uh, work with brokers and builders. This guy is just amazing. He's, he's, this kind of guy has worked in every single industry. He's written books with like Lee Crockerell, head of Disney with the 40,000 cast members. Um, he's friends with like Mike Lindell. Um, he does Reawaken America tours where he does these tours all across the country where 10,000 or more people show up to some of these tours. On the day-to-day, -day, he does anywhere from uh, about 160 companies. He's at the top. He has a team of uh, business coaches, videographers, and graphic designers and web developers, and they run 160 companies every single week. So think of this guy with a team of business coaches running 160 companies. So in the weekly, he's running 160 companies. Um, every six to eight weeks, he's doing Reawaken America tours. Every six to eight weeks, he's also doing business conferences where 200 people show up, and he teaches people a 13-step proven system that he's done and worked with billionaires, helping them grow their companies. Um, so he's, I've seen guys from startups go from startup to being multimillionaires, um, teaching people how to get time freedom and financial freedom through the system critical thinking, document creation, um, making it, putting it into, uh, or organizing everything in their head to building it into a, a franchisable, scalable business. Like one of his businesses has like 500 franchises. That's just one of the companies or brands that he works with. So amazing guy, Elon Musk kind, kind of like smart guy. Um, he kind of comes off sometimes as socially awkward, but he's so brilliant and he's taught me so much. When I say that, like, like Clay is like, he doesn't care what people think when you're talking to him. He cares about where you're going in your life and where he can get you to go. Um, and that's what I like him most about him. He's like, he's like a, a good coach. A coach isn't just making you feel good all the time. A coach is actually helping you get to the best you. And Clay has been an amazing business coach. Through the course of that, we became friends. Um, my, I was really most impressed with him is when I was shadowing him one time. Um, we went into a business deal and listened to it. I, I got to shadow and listen to it. And when we walked out, I knew that he could make millions on the deal. And they were super excited about working with him. And he told me, he's like, I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to turn it down. Um, because he knew it was going to harm the common good of people in the long run. And uh, the guy's integrity um, just really wowed me. Uh, it brought tears to my eyes to see that this guy, his, he doesn't... His highest desire was to do what's right. And um, uh, anyways, just, just, just an amazing man. So anyways, impacted me a lot. Um, he's helped navigate. Anytime I've gotten nervous or worried about uh, how to run the company or, uh, you know, navigating competition and, 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 and an economy that's like, I remember we got closed down for three months. He helped us navigate on how to stay open, how to, how to get back open, how to um, uh, just survive through all the COVID shutdowns, lockdowns, because our clubs were all closed for. I'm Rachel with Tip Top Canine, and we just want to give a huge thank you to Clay and Vanessa Clark. Hey guys, I'm Ryan with Tip Top Canine. Just want to say a big thank you to Thrive 15. Thank you to Make Your Life Epic. We love you guys, we appreciate you, and really just appreciate how far you've taken us. This is our old house, right? This is where we used to live a few years ago. This is our old neighborhood. As you can see, it's uh, nice, right?
So this is my old van and our old school marketing. And this is our old team. And by team, I mean it's me and another guy. This is our new house with our new neighborhood. This is our new van with our new marketing. And this is our new team. We went from four to 14 and I took this beautiful photo. We worked with several different business coaches in the past and they were all about helping Ryan sell better and um, just teaching sales, which is awesome, but Ryan is a really great salesman. So we didn't need that. We needed somebody to help us get everything that was in his head out into systems, into manuals and scripts and actually build a team. So now that we have systems in place, we've gone from one to 10 locations in only a year. In October 2016, we grew us 13 grand for the whole month. Uh, right now, it's 2018, the month of October. It's only the 22nd. We've already grossed a little over 50 grand for the whole month, and we still have time to go. We're just thankful for you, thankful for Thrive and your mentorship, and we're really thankful that you guys have helped us to grow a business that we run now instead of the business running us. Just thank you, thank you, thank you times a thousand. The Thrive Time Show, two-day interactive business workshops are the highest and most reviewed business workshops on the planet. You can learn the proven 13-point uh, business system that Dr. Zellner and I have used over and over to start and grow successful companies. I mean, we get into the specifics, the specific steps on what you need to do to optimize your website. We're going to teach you how to fix your conversion rate. Uh, we're going to teach you how to do a social media marketing campaign that works. How do you raise capital? How do you get a small business loan? We teach you everything you need to know here during a two-day, 15-hour workshop. It's all here for you. You work every day in your business, but for two days you can escape and work on your business and build these proven systems so now you can have a successful company that will produce both the time freedom and the financial freedom that you deserve. You're going to leave energized, motivated, but you're also going to leave empowered. The reason why I've built these workshops is because as an entrepreneur, I always wish that I had this. And because there wasn't anything like this, I would go to these motivational seminars, no money down, real estate, Ponzi scheme, get motivated seminars, and they would never teach me anything. It was like you went there and you paid for the, the big chocolate Easter bunny, but inside of it, it was a hollow nothingness. And I wanted the knowledge, and they're like, oh, but we'll teach you the knowledge after our next workshop. And the great thing is we, we have nothing to upsell. At every workshop, we teach you what you need to know. There's no one in the back of the room trying to sell you some next big uh, get rich quick, walk on hot coals uh, product. It's literally, we teach you the brass tacks, the specific stuff that you need to know to learn how to start and grow a business. And I encourage you to not believe what I'm saying, and I want you to Google uh, the Z66 auto auction. I want you to Google elephant in the room. Look at Robert Zellner and Associates. Look them up and say, are they successful because they're geniuses or are they successful because they have a proven system? When you do that research, you will discover that the same system that we use in our own business can be used in your business. Come to Tulsa, book a ticket, and I guarantee you it's going to be the best business workshop ever and we'll even give you your money back if you don't love it. We've built this facility for you and we're excited to see you. Hey, I'm Ryan Wimpy with Tip Top Canine, and I'm the founder. I'm Rachel Wimpy, and I am a co-founder. So we've been running Tip Top for about the last 14 years, franchising for the last three, four years. So someone that'd be a good fit for Tip Top, loves dogs, they're high energy, uh, they want to be able to own their own job, but they don't want to worry about, you know, that high failure rate. They want to do that like bowling with bumper lanes. So you give us a call, reach out to us, and we'll call you, um, and then we'll send you an FDD, look over that, read it, fall asleep to it, it's very boring, um, and then we'll book a discovery day, and you come and you spend a day or two with us to make sure that you actually like it, make sure your training dogs is something that you want to do. So an FDD is a franchise disclosure document. It's a federally regulated document that goes into all the nitty gritty details of what the franchise agreement entails. So who would be a good fit to buy a TikTok K9 would be somebody who loves dogs, um, who wants to work with dogs all day as their profession. Um, you'll make a lot of money, you'll have a lot of fun, it's very rewarding. And who would not be a good fit is a cat person. So the upfront cost for Tip Top is $43,000. Uh, and a lot of people say they're generating doctor money, but on our disclosure, the numbers are anywhere from um, over a million dollars a year in dog training, what our Oklahoma City location did last year, to 25, 35 grand a month. 
um, to train and get uh, trained by us for Tip Top Canine to run your own Tip Top Canine, you would be um, with us for six weeks here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. So we've been married for seven years. Eight years. Eight years. So if you're watching this video, you're like, hey, maybe I want to be a dog trainer. Hey, that one sounds super amazing. Go to our website, tiptopcanine.com. Click on the yellow franchising tab, fill out the form, and Rachel and I will give you a call. Our Oklahoma City location last year, they did over a million dollars. Uh, he's been running that shop for three years. Before, he was a youth pastor with zero sales experience, zero dog training experience before he ever uh, met with us. So just call us. Um, come spend a day with us. Spend a couple days with us. Make sure you like training dogs and um, own your own business. Well, the biggest reason to buy a tip-top canine is so you own your own job and you own your own future and you don't hate your life. You get an enjoyable job that brings a lot of income but is really rewarding. My name is Seth Flint and I had originally heard about tip-top canine um, through uh, my old pastors who I worked for. They trained their Great Pyrenees. Uh, with Ryan and Tip Top K9. They did a phenomenal job and uh, became really good friends with Ryan and Rachel. I was working at a uh, local church and it was a great experience. I ended up uh, leaving there and working with uh, Ryan and Tip Top K9. The biggest thing that I really, really enjoy about being self employed is that I can uh, create my own schedule. I have the ability to uh, spend more time. Um, with my family, my wife, and my daughter. So my very favorite thing about training dogs with Tip Top Canine is that I get to work with the people. Um, obviously, I love working with dogs, but it's just so rewarding to be able to um, train a dog um, that had serious issues, whether it's behavioral or you know whatever, and um, uh, seeing a transformation, taking that dog home, and mom and dad are literally in tears because of um, how happy they are um, with the training. If somebody is interested, I'd say don't hesitate. Make sure you like dogs. Make sure that uh, you enjoy um, working with people uh, because we're not just dog trainers. We're, we are customer service people that help dogs. And, um, and so definitely, definitely don't hesitate. Just just come in and ask questions, ask all the questions you have.